Hi, I'm Randy Lovelace with Paragon Independent Insurance, and I'm here at the beautiful uh, Work Lodge office suites and sitting here with Kyle Schutick with uh, Project Zero Alliance. Yep. And I was going to say something about Project Zero, but there's really nothing that I can say that Kyle would would not say better. So uh, let me let me turn it over to you, Kyle. What is Project Zero Alliance? Uh, what do you do? Explain yourself. Yeah, <laughs> explain, <laughs> explain yourself. I, I, I got that from my mom a lot. Um, no, so Project Zero, as we affectionately try to call it, because uh, Project Zero Alliance doesn't roll off the tongue very well, uh, but it describes what we do. Um, we're an organization that focuses on improving the, the well-being, the physical, the social, the mental well-being, not just veterans, but first responders. And those first responders, right, you have your Leos, you have your paramedics, your EMTs, firefighters, uh, even frontline responders, like mm -hmm. uh, nurses and medical, those are the those are the people that we're trying to, to reach and to help and to get after. So when we talk about an alliance, it's, it's all these uh, people who are very service oriented. Uh, and we focus on that in a few different ways. And we've had the opportunity to discuss this, but uh, one is you know professional mental health services, right? So that's with licensed professionals. I think that's an amazing thing to have. Um, and then we did something a little different. We do outdoor adventure, right? And, or, we, or we like to call it adventure therapy. So being able to get out into nature and reconnect into nature, whether that's through fishing or, or overlanding, uh, that'd be car camping or taking your, your vehicles out. Uh, and the last bit, and we're growing this next year, is connecting people to uh, resources and opportunities for growth, right? Uh, educating yourself about yourself or moving yourself forward. Uh, and that kind of really encompasses what the organization is and what we're about. Wow. Uh, how, how long have you been going? When did you start? <laughs> so we like to say uh, we had a gap year, right? So we started Jan January 27th, uh, 2020 is when we became official. And then uh, March 2020 happened. Uh, we had to kind of refigure out everything that was going on uh, in the world, uh, right? Because we just had that, uh, we won't, that thing that shall not be named um, I'm came not around. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not bringing that back on us. But uh, we, we had the opportunity to figure out what, what we began, what we wanted to do, which is you know bring groups together in a in a closed environment, uh, which we couldn't do anymore, um, and get get back uh, outdoors and offer opportunities. That so provided an avenue for us, but we had to kind of wait almost a year to get that done because we couldn't go to parks, we couldn't go anywhere, everything was closed, um, and so we'd like to say about a year we've been operating officially, uh, providing uh, services and running events. Yeah. So yeah. two years uh, on the numbers, one year is operational. Yeah. Well, if somebody, a first responder or, or vet, is out there and they uh, want to connect with you, what's the what's the best and quickest uh, way for them to do that? Easy. Uh, you can look up the Project Zero on Facebook. Uh, you can go to p r o j z e r o underscore a d v. That's the adventure side on Instagram, or you can hit our website. Um, and there's actually sign up forms for the different things. I would say, uh, I wouldn't even, well, they're not sign up forms, but they're outreach. Okay. You know, just tell us what you're trying to outreach for. I'm looking for help um, with a professional. They fill out the form that goes right to our uh, inbox to our professional so they can do the outreach. Uh, I'm looking to, to get outdoors and to do one of those activities. I'm interested in that. Uh, that'll let us know what they're interested in. So the website's really a good place, or you can just hit a message on one of the uh, social media platforms. Okay, awesome. Um, what can the community do for you? you know, there's a lot of things, um, especially when you're a new organization. And I think uh, the, the best thing is, is to look at the resources that we have to offer and dig into your own community of maybe veterans that you know. Uh, I never say, hey, you might be struggling, you should do this, but just open the opportunity to them to go experience you know, somebody like us. Uh, obviously, we all run on trying to provide a free service to the end user. So uh, donations are always welcome. Supporting some of our events, you know, we've got our spring golf tournament coming up in April uh, over at Black Horse. Um, we got some other things that are coming along. Uh, and for the guys who really and gals who really like the adventure piece, we're always looking for somebody who might want the excuse <laughs> to get their Jeep or their four x four or their camper off and out, and actually being able to uh, bring one of our people who sign up along who may not have what we have and what we're capable of doing. Uh, so we're always looking for people who are willing to volunteer or uh, that's what they tell their significant other what they're doing. <laughs> um, but it provides an avenue which we can help somebody else because you know we're new and uh, we don't have every resource. Uh, the, op the idea isn't that they have everything that they need to get that done, is that we can provide the avenue in which that veteran or a first responder, if they want to experience that, can get that done. So right. those are the, the three ways, right? Just share the, share the message and the word. Um, obviously, financials are 
going to be the core of any business. Uh, and then just, you know, people who want to, for that outdoor piece, uh, you know, really get out and connect with our community or help us build that up. Okay. Are there specific requirements for people that want to volunteer <clears throat> to, uh, to help? Um, so I would say we haven't really built those parameters out yet. Uh, as far as the outdoor piece goes, uh, that's where we really find we're going to need most of the help. Um, is that, you know, just being able to be a little flexible uh, with that, being able to uh, be willing to have somebody ride shotgun, or we call them A drivers, <laughs> um, and just be open about the experience that we're, we're, we're building, right? Because uh, that's what we're doing. We're creating an experience for somebody to, to, to do something a little bit different. So we just ask those people. For any of the other events, like if it were a golf tournament or something, you know, hey, just be willing to show up and put in some work and, um, you know, shake hands, kiss babies, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, just be able to be receptive to the message and to be able to, to put that message back out to the community. Right, right. Well, this is an awesome sounding group. And, I, mean, <laughs> I appreciate it. In a short amount of time, you've done a tremendous uh, amount of good and, and put a, uh, just a great organization together. And so kudos to, to you and the people that are working with you. Uh, I appreciate on it. Uh, on, on that note, actually, we were just running the numbers a couple days ago with our, our, our marketing, our new marketing team. Um, you know, in 2021, I'm trying to remember what year it is, in 2021, you know, we were able to have uh, 50 unique individuals. That's either volunteers, participants, or staff. Because, you know, we sometimes what we're offering, we need some too, mm -hmm. right? Um, I can tell you that running an event like that, um, it's a lot of good to do that. But sometimes I'll take 15 minutes on my own to go kind of go out behind and just kind of reset. Um, we've had 50 people we've, we've touched this year, uh, and we've had 12 people so far just on word of mouth that have gone through our clinical care. Uh, that's the confidential clinical care and on word of mouth alone. So, um, you know, if you look at, uh, at, at numbers like that, when we go back and reflect from how short we've been in business or in an operation, um, yeah, man, like it feels really good. So we're, we know we're in the right path. So, an awesome yeah, job. Thank you. Awesome job. So. Well, we appreciate you tuning in. Again, find out everything you can about Project Zero. Uh, I'm going to leave off the Alliance part. Just Project, <laughs> yeah, just Zero. Project Zero. Let it roll off the tongue there, but find out everything you can. Look at the website, check Facebook, uh, find out about Kyle, everything that they're doing there, and see how we can help this organization continue to help our vets and first responders and, and uh, frontliners yeah. and so forth. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Randy Lovelace, Paragon Independent Insurance, and this was this month's edition of the Hello Woodlands Nonprofit of the Month Highlight. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.